Well, hello again to uh, from the Vicar's study. And uh, I've been thinking this week all about uh, Philippians chapter two and uh, that uh, part of, uh, the, of the chapter where uh, we're told as Christians that when we follow Jesus, when we live his way, when we hold on to uh, the word of life, which is him and his word found in the Bible. And uh, when we uh, when we follow his example with his mind, we will shine like stars in the sky. Now, I'm sure you've been out into the countryside and had a look up at uh, the stars in the sky when it's uh, a, a clear, dark night. And they just stand out, don't they? Like nothing else. Well, that's the picture that Paul's giving us. And that's a picture that's all the way through the Bible, you know, all the way from uh, Abraham. When Abraham was given promises by God that he was going to have a people who were going to be absolutely enormous. God said they would be they would be as, as many as the, uh, the the grains of sand on the shore or the stars in the night sky. So God's people have always been promised that we will be like stars if we live God's way. What does it mean like stars? Why, why, why do we stand out like that? Well, I think it's because, uh, you know, at the moment there's an outbreak of altruism and that's a wonderful thing. And long may that last in our society. Christians, uh, when we've been following Jesus and living his way, which sadly we so often don't, do, do we? And there's lots for us Christians to repent of. And to say sorry to God for, to say sorry to society for, for not living his way. But when we do live his way, even when times are good, even when individualism is the thing that seems to uh, push the society on, more for me, more for me, more for me. When Christians live as we're supposed to live, we're living for God and his people. And that makes us stand out like a sore thumb. So at the moment, I'm sure that you're uh, very aware that we need to live God's way in God's world and that we need to pull together as a community and look after one another. What's it going to be like when things are back to normal? I think it's worth us spending time now thinking when things do get back to normal, how am I going to continue shining like a star in a dark sky? What things am I going to continue doing to stand out as one of those people who follow Jesus? What am I going to continue doing that brings glory to his name? And the stars bring glory to the sky, don't they? Just as Christians, when we live God's way, bring glory to him. What is it that I'm going to do that's going to continue doing that when things are back to normal? Something to pray about, isn't it? Something to maybe talk about as a family or amongst friends. Uh, maybe phone somebody up and have a chat about it. Maybe sit around your kitchen table if you've got more than one of you at home and talk about it. How are you going to, when things are back to normal, continue shining like a star in the dark sky?